You know, there's a lot of talk about gun control these days, as there always is. And for the purposes of this conversation today, and for the purpose of any conversation that has any intelligence behind it, gun control means the ability to maintain control of a gun while you're shooting it. Eagle Grips has been in business for a long time and they've been making some of the finest grips available and that's what I'm talking about here today. These are some brand new grips from Eagle. They are called reactive checkering grips. These grips are made from Kiranite which is a proprietary material that Eagle Grips uses and it's really nice looking stuff. It looks very pearlescent for those of you who like pearl grips. I happen to be one of them. I'm going to have to go ahead and disagree with General Patton just a little bit in that regard. I don't mind pearl grips a bit but these are pearl looking grips and they're very tough they're really rugged material they've been proven for many years now is in the, in the field and in cowboy action shooting speaking of cowboy action shooting we shooters who don't shoot cowboy action which I've, I've shot a few matches but I've never really gotten into the game of cowboy action shooting but those of us who are not really into it, we owe a whole lot to the folks that are. Cowboy Action Shooting has created a great many firearms and a great many innovations that we would not see today if it weren't for the nationwide popularity of Cowboy Action Shooting. A lot of the fine six guns that are available today and the lever action rifles and shotguns even are generated from a desire to accommodate the cowboy action shooters. A lot of fine leather is made for cowboy action shooters. These grips were developed with cowboy action shooters in mind. They have what Eagle Grips calls reactive checkering, which if you look at them, they're very nice to look at. The checkering patterns are not straight lines like we're used to seeing in checkering. They're, uh, they're arc lines and they, they radiate out from the inner radius of the of the grip they really work wonderfully and they they look neat but what they're really for is for weapon retention they're very sticky in the hand stickier even than regular checkering without abrading the hand at all um, it's really amazing what these things do uh, Raj Singh at Eagle Grips has been a friend of ours for a long time and he's called me and told me about these want to know if he sent me some I said yeah I'd be glad to look at them so he did and I was really surprised at how well these things work he gave me the basic outline of what they're supposed to do over the phone and all that but you really have to have a set of these in your hand before you really know what's going on if you've got checker grips you know what they feel like and under recoil they can abrade your hand somewhat I, i've seen companies actually brag on we've got the most aggressively checkered grips the most abrasive grips on the market well that's not what you want when you're shooting a whole lot especially and if you're shooting a larger recoil like calibers like this 45 colt ruger john wayne 100th birthday commemorative uh, 45 uh, new vaquero it's a wonderful six gun really pretty really nicely done up we reviewed those when they came out in 2007 and they're wonderful guns but these grips will fit any of the xr3 rugers including the new vaquero they work wonderfully they are gunfighter profiled which is a little bit slimmer than your standard profile six gun grips and I really like them a whole lot they feel wonderful in my hand I always have liked them but with this reactive checkering they really stick in the hand even better than conventionally checkered grips without making any kind of abrasion in your hand you shoot these all day with no discomfort whatsoever they also don't want to snag on clothing if you're carrying something concealed regular checkering can like keep your coat from falling into place right or keep your overshirt from falling into place right these grips are smooth to feel of them they're quite a bit smoother than regular checkering but once you get a little grip on those things man they really grab you can just take like a two finger grab like this and i'm just loosely holding this thing and it's amazing how well the reactive checkering holds on to the skin of your hand right now these are brand new to eagle grips and they're rolling them out for the new vaquero the xr3 grip frame they're rolling them out in several different colors i like the traditional pearl the best because they look more like a traditional color they also you can get these in the different kiranite colors that are available like these red ones which are very attractive in their own right they actually show the reactive checkering better than the light colored do but i'm more of a traditionalist so i go for the more pearl 
These are available for an MSRP of $159.95. It's a really complex checkering pattern that they have on these things that makes the reactive checkering pattern. And I don't know how they do that. I assume it is some sort of com computerized laser or something like that, but it's wonderful. It's very well done nice to look at but they just really feel great and they really do help a whole lot in controlling the recoil i'm shooting my ruger john wayne new vaquero 45 with the factory grips on it which will be interesting because the factory grips on this are conventionally checkered it'll be interesting to see how it compares to the reactive checkering on the eagle grips I'm shooting double taps, 255 grain hard cast lead semi wad cutter, running about 950 feet per second. It's a dandy little load. Now I'm going to try out this John Wayne Neva Caro using the same double tap 255 grain load and Eagle's reactive checkered grips. The cool thing about handling these grips, other than the gunfighter profile, which is something that I really do like on a set of single action grips, but other than that, the grip frame on a single action is made to roll up in the hand with the recoil. The recoil impetus still does roll up in the hand, but the grips really stick to your hand really, really well. That makes it uh, quicker and easier for follow-up shots because you're not having to reposition your hand after every shot. If the thing rolls up like that, you're having to reposition your hand for every shot. The recoil impetus is still directed upward just like it is on the regular single action grips, but these reactive checkering grips really help you hold on to it. They also make the reactive Karenite grips available for the 1911 pistols, which a whole lot of us out here shoot 1911 pistols. I love them. I've got a set of the pearls on this one as well. They also come in the different colors, such as red, which looks good too. And they also have a very nice looking just ivory color, which if you are in agreement with General Patton on pearl versus ivory, you will go for the ivory. They look wonderful too. I like the pearl just fine. I like the ivory. I even like the red, depending on what uh, what finish of gun you're putting on. They look really good on a stainless gun, for example. But on a darker finish gun, I like a light grip just for the contrast of it. That's just my taste. And I think these pearls look wonderful on there. They are cross cut. He cross cuts the Karenite material on these, so they really that really makes the grain pop on them, and it looks wonderful. Another very important consideration when you're talking about the reactive grips on a 1911 more so than on the six guns, even though I know people and I myself have carried single action six guns for protection in the past, is that where it applies to carrying for self-protection and also for law enforcement, these really will help you retain your weapon if you get in a close quarters fight with somebody. When Raj Singh was first telling me about his reactive checker grips and he was telling me about how they can really help you hold on to your weapon if somebody's trying to put it away, I'm like, yeah, yeah. But it's something that you really got to get a set of these in your hand before you can really grasp just how well these things work. It is amazing. Yeah, I can just barely hold on. You know, I can not even wrap my my fingers around the frame of the gun and it's hard to pull out i'm pulling pretty hard with my left hand right here it's going to be a whole lot harder for somebody to wrestle this gun away from you if you've got on these reactive checkering grips these things are amazing they really do work they're really nice looking they're high quality they're reasonably priced and it's really amazing how well they work get a hold of a set of these and you will agree with me the 1911 reactive checkered Kiranite grips are $119.95 and they'll fit any standard 1911. They are standard 1911 profile and like the six gun grips, they really do help that gun stay in your hand under recoil. When the recoil pounds into your hand, it's not doing any abrading to your skin. It stays comfortable to shoot all day. They're just wonderful grips. I highly recommend them. They are the reactive checkering Karenite grips from Eagle Grips. This is my favorite carry 1911. Whenever I'm uh, 
toting a 1911. This is typically the one that I'm carrying. It's a Ruger Lightweight Commander 45. I bought this one at a gunside event we did with Ruger and uh, Simply Rugged and Double Tap Ammo and some of those guys several years ago when they first came out with the Lightweight Commander 1911. I loved the pistol, shot it all week long, it never bobbled, so I bought it at the end of the week. And while I was at gun sight, I went and bought a set of grips for it. They're slick rosewood grips with no checkering on them, with a th in a thin profile that's got a gun sight raven laser engraved on each side of the grip. I've carried them on this ever since I got this gun. It just reminds me of getting this thing at gun sight. I'm going to run some Arms Core 230 grain ball through it, just your, your basic 230 grain ball load. It's a wonderful load for the 1911 since 1911. Now I'm running the same Ruger Lightweight Commander with the same Arms Corps 230 grain ball load using the Eagle Reactive Checkering Grips. They really work well. They really mitigate how much the gun squirms in the hand while you're under recoil. Makes it easier to hold on to, easier to get your follow-up shots. Another real cool set of grips that Eagle is offering for the 1911 is the uh, Karenite Rampant Horse Grips. Those of you who remember the Samuel Colt 200th Anniversary Limited Edition that Colt put out early in 2021 these are the same grips that came on that gun uh, eagle made those grips for colt and these are the same grips they're available either in black pearl with a gold rampant pony on each side or in white pearl with the same gold rampant pony they're beautiful they really do look nice if you've got a stainless gun i love the black grips if you've got a blue gun i love the pearl grips they're wonderful they're 139.95 that's a whole lot cheaper than trying to find one of the sam colt limited edition gun because last time i saw those things were going for several thousand dollars a pop these are available now from eagle grips check them out at eaglegrips.com <music>